Here we have a word problem that is going to give us a, a third degree polynomial and our job is going to be to solve it but we get to use a graphing calculator. So I think the hardest part of this is really just figuring out what that third degree polynomial is going to be uh, and writing the, the correct uh, equation for it. Uh, let's read through the problem first. It says a rectangular box has dimensions 4 by 5 by 5. Increasing each dimension of the box by the same amount yields a new box with a volume 7 times the old. And then we're going to find a solution with a graphing calculator. Uh, so, hmm. Well, let's just sketch this out first of all. I'm going to make a little box here. Close enough. All right, so here's our box. And one side is 4 inches, and the other two are 5. So, and what they're saying is if you increase it, each of these uh, dimensions by the same amount, then you get this box that's 7 times bigger. Well, how big is this box? What's the volume of this? 4 times 5 times 5. Well, 5 times 5 is 25 times 4. So this has a volume of 100. So we're going to make a box that has a volume of 700. And we're going to do that by increasing each of these values, each of these lengths here, by some number. Well, we don't know what that number is. That's what we're trying to find. So we can call it x for, t for now. So we want to do plus x to each of these. And how do you find um, uh, the volume of a, of a a box like this. Well, you just multiply each of these together. So we're going to have 4 plus x times 5 plus x. times 5 plus x. And that should equal 700. So what we want to do next is multiply this out. Um, let's see. I'll do the 5 plus x uh, squared first. That's going to be x squared and 10x and 25. OK, and now we'll take this and multiply it by each of these terms. I'll start with the x term. I'm going to have x cubed uh, plus 10x squared plus 25x. And now I'll multiply it by the 4 here. So that'd be 4x squared uh, plus 40x plus 100. Okay, so putting all that together, we're going to have x cubed, uh, 14x squared, uh, plus 65x, plus 100, and that should equal 700, 7 times the old box. So there is our, our third degree equation. To find x, uh, what we're going to do is try to find the zeros. Uh, of this equation, and, and one of those zeros should be our answer. Uh, probably what will happen is one of the zeros will make sense because it'll be a positive value. And since we're increasing here, we know x has to be a positive value. And probably the others um, will be negative values, so it'll be easy to choose. But let's, let's take a look at this. Um, to find the zeros of this function, we need to set the function equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 700 from both sides and then just rewrite this function. I'll put it up here nice and big. So x cubed plus 14x squared plus 65x minus 600 equals 0. So this is the function that we can type into our graphing calculator and then just take a look at the zeros. Let's, let's see how that works. So I'll try to type it in here. We've got x cubed. Uh, plus 14x squared plus 65x minus 600. I think I got that right. And uh, one's jumping out here. It looks like 4.225. Let's zoom out and see if we're missing any others. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. 
yeah, 4.225 is the uh, the only zero I am seeing here. And that makes sense. So 4, let's see, and we wanted to round our answer to two decimal places, so 4.23 inches would be our answer. So that is how to use the graphing calculator to solve a, a word problem with a, a third degree polynomial.